Listen, lords, in barren hall, I sing the wondrous birth of brave St. George, whose valorous arm rid monsters from the earth. Distressed ladies to relieve, he travelled many a day in honour of the Christian faith which shall endure for aye. In Coventry sometime did well a knight of worthy fame. High steward of this noble realm, Lord Albert was his name. He had to wife a princely dame whose beauty did excel. This virtuous lady being with child in sudden sadness fell. For thirty nights no sooner sleep had closed her wakeful eyes, but lo, a foul and fearful dream her fancy would surprise. She dreamt a dragon fierce and fell conceived within her womb, whose mortal fangs her body rent, ere he to life could come. All woe begone, and sad was she, she nourished constant woe, yet strove to hide it from her lord, lest he should sorrow know. In vain she strove her tender lord, who watched her slightest look, discovered soon her secret pain, and soon that pain partook. And when to him the fearful cause she weeping did impart, with kindest speech he strove to heal the anguish of her heart. Be comforted, my lady dear, those pearly drops refrain. Betide me weal, betide me woe, I'll try to ease thy pain. And for this foul and fearful dream that causeth all thy woe, trust me, I'll travel far away, but I'll the meaning know. Then giving many a fond embrace and shielding many a tear, to the weird lady of the woods he purposed to repair. To the weird lady of the woods, full long and many a day, through lonely shades and thickets rough he winds his weary way. At length he reached the dreary dell with dismal ewes overhung, where cypress spread its mournful boughs and poisonous nightshades sprung. No clearful gleams here peace the gloom, it hears no cheerful sound, but shrill night ravens yelling scream and serpents hissing round. The shriek of fiends and damned ghosts ran howling through his ear. A chilling horror froze his heart, though all unused to fear. Three times he strives to win his way and pierce those sickly dews. Three times to bear his trembling course his knocking knees refuse. At length upon his beating breast he signs the holy cross, and rousing up his wonted might he treads the unhallowed moss. Beneath a pendant craggy cliff all vaulted like a grave, and opening in the solid rock he found the enchanted cave. An iron gate closed up the mouth, all hideous and forlorn, and fastened by a silver chain there hung a brazed horn. Then offering up a secret prayer, three times he blows amain. Three times a deep and hollow sound did answer him again. Sir Knight, thy lady bears a son, who like a dragon bright, shall prove most dreadful to his foes and terrible in fight. His name advanced in future times on banners shall be worn, but lo, thy lady's life must pass before he can be born. All sore oppressed with fear and doubt, long time Lord Albert stood. At length he winds his doubtful way back through the dreary wood. Eager to clasp his lovely dame, then fast he travels back. But when he reached his castle gate, his gate was hung with black. In every court and hall he found a sullen silence reign. Safe where, amid the lonely towers, he heard her maidens plain, and bitterly lament and weep with many a grievous groan, then saw his bleeding heart misgave, his lady's life was gone. With faltering step he enters in, yet half afraid to go, with trembling voice asks why they grieve, yet fears the cause to know. Three times the sun has rose and set, they said, and stopped to weep. Since heaven hath laid thy lady dear in death's eternal sleep. 
For ah, to veil the sore she fell, so sore that she must die, unless some shrewd and cunning leech could ease her presently. But when a cunning leech was set, too soon declared he, she or her babe must lose his life, both save it could not be. Now take my life, thy lady said, my little infant save, and oh, command me to my lord when I am laid in grave. Oh, tell him how that precious babe cost him a tender wife, and teach my son to lisp her name who died to save his life. Then calling still upon thy name and praying still for thee, without repining or complaint, her gentle soul did flee. What tongue can paint Lord Albert's woe, the bitter tears he shed, the bitter pangs that wrung his heart to find his lady dead? He beat his breast, he tore his hair, and shedding many a tear, at length he asked to see his son, the son that cost so dear. New sorrow sees the damsels all, at length they faltering say, Alas, my lord, how shall we tell, thy son is stolen away? Fair as the sweetest flower of spring, such was his infant mien, and on his little body stamped three wondrous marks were seen. A blood-red cross was on his arm, a dragon on his breast, a little garter all of gold was round his leg expressed. Three careful nurses we provide our little lord to keep. One gave him suck, one gave him food, and one did lull to sleep. But lo, all in the dead of night, we heard a fearful sound. Loud thunder clapped, the castle shook, and lightning flashed around. Dead with a fright at first we lay, but rousing up anon, we ran to see our little lord. Our little lord was gone. But how or where we could not tell, for lying on the ground, in deep and magic slumbers laid, the nurses, they were found. Oh, grief, um, grief, Lord Albert said, no more his tongue could say. When falling in a deadly swoon, long time he lifeless lay. At length restored to life and sense, he nourished endless woe. No future joy his heart could taste, no future comfort, no. So with us on the mountain top, a fair and stately oak, whose vigorous arms are torn away by some rude thunderstroke. At length his castle irks and grew, he loathes his wanted home. His native country he forsakes in foreign lands to roam. There up and down he wandered far, clad in a palmer's gown, till his brown locks grew white as wood, his beard as thistle down. At length, all wearied, down in death, he laid his reverend head. Meantime, amid the lonely wilds, his little son was bred. There the weird lady of the woods had borne him far away, and trained him up in feats of arms and every martial play.